Hello, hello, welcome back to more Death Stranding. Uh, yeah, we got showered. Looking fresh, feeling fresh. And, uh, yeah, let's get going. Maybe we get another cutscene with, uh, Unger. Matt Mickelson. Yeah, yeah, we do, we do, let's go. Certifiable badass. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Hey Sam, I have some new info you should hear. Oh, hey. Okay. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It um it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Okay. Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges 1 was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too and figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire, to start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BP program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the president himself was killed in the blast. Oof. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening. Okay, interesting. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. Alright, let's do that. The people of Mountain Knot City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the ejecta. Walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery terminal. Alright, cool. Um, yeah. What I want to do is I want to get the gun. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Uh, antimatter bomb delivery. Uh, hello? What? That doesn't seem very, um, safe. Deliver the antimatter bomb. Uh, uh, how about no? I don't want to deliver a bomb. What is this? Doesn't look like we have much of a choice, huh? That firearm can be loaded with thematic weapons. Okay. It's fitted with a dot sight as well. Should improve your aim. Uh, I don't think anything can improve my aim. <laughs> uh, oh well, we just get one of these then. Uh, do we need anything else? Maybe we get a climbing anchor for good measure. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, make me my stuff, please. Jesus Christ, it's huge. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance transport. Uh huh. The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. Uh. If it goes off, you're doing oh. it wrong. And if okay. the bomb goes off, we'll have a disaster. Why am I hands. sending a bomb in the first place? The kind we can't come back from. What is happening? Uh I don't know what is happening. Uh, I guess we try and take the car. I think that's what we want to do. Uh, leave the bomb back there. Uh, probably fine, correct? It's supposed to beep when it's um when I'm doing something I'm not supposed to be doing, right? Okay. What kind of route do we take? These guys seem to go this way. Or we could go through the mountain. I don't think that's a very good idea, but uh, we'll see as we go. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to do the whole thing on the car. We're probably going to have to get some walking done. Ah. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh my goodness. That was just like a little bump. It wasn't even a hot bump. Kidding me, right? You, you, you're kidding me. Alright, we're gonna just deliver the bomb. Uh, let's not deal with all of the other stuff yet. Oh, hello. Oh, great. Great. That is great. Alright, guess we deal with them first. A lot of guys. Don't really want to deal with them. Maybe let's just uh, get the car and uh, we go. Maybe that's the play here. Those guys are pretty nearby though. Did they already see me? Yeah, they might have seen me. Alright, we're gonna take him out. No tall grass for me, huh? Oh, what if I throw a stun grenade? I had one of those, right? Yeah, we go, there we go, there we go. Doesn't quite go far enough. That's probably good. Nice. Was it too hot? Dealt with some of them. There's lots more of them. Oh, they got trucks as well. Uh, no. 
No, 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 no. Go to hell with your truck. Got it. So headshots are effective, it seems. Well, it's hard as hell to get a headshot though. There we go. Dot sight is helping a lot, I think. Just gonna whack him. Come on, fight me. Holy shit. How many hits does it take to kill him? Right, there's definitely at least one more guy here. Maybe two even. Oh, this is a big camp. There's a guy over there. Um, maybe... Maybe they'll leave me alone? Right, those guys are coming up. On the base. We just bring our truck a little bit forward. And uh... If we can get all of those guys aggro, maybe we can kill off all of them. That won't go. Just gonna run them over with the car. Hopefully I don't kill them. That guy might be dead. Nah, he's fine. He's fine. He's totally fine. Damn it, shooting me though. No. Get some. Yeah. Get him. Hit him. Okay, sweet. Right, so those two guys came from somewhere else. Uh, they weren't part of the... They weren't part of this uh, camp. They were probably part of the one slightly down the way. There's something here though. Oh, it's one of those um, memory chip thingies. Okay, let's see about that one. Power skeleton, yes please. There are also a few guys coming down that way. Am I hitting him? Must be hitting him, right? Alright, that's one. Alright, uh, we need to change tactics. We need the stun bomb. Shit. Missed. Adapt. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh. Po all right. All right. Looks like we cleared this place. It wasn't the prettiest, but uh, we got it done. Power skeleton. Nice. We'll take that. We will immediately change to that. What I really want to know is how do I um. Reload the ammo on my guns. Maybe the answer is just to bring two guns. I don't know. Alright, let's uh, carry on then. Hello? Oh my god. I get caught on like a 10 pin. Alright, this looks like a nice place. We got charges. We got time fall shelters. Nice. And uh, let's uh, 
do they repair some of my containers if I'm in the truck? It should do. It should do. All right. Um, so the bridge goes this way. I guess I don't really have much of a choice. Let's take the bridge then. It's a good bridge. I think it's a good place for the bridge. Alright, it's rain. Oh crap. That's not good. That usually means BTs. And um, nowhere near the place I'm going. Where am I going? I'm heading over there. Right, so the way I see it, we can either go down this way and then come back over. Or we could go the... Or we could just go up this way. Which may or may not be faster because it's raining over the side. I don't know. I don't know what the choice is here. Mm, I think either way I'm going to have to climb the mountain. So we can go down this way and then this way looks a little bit more gentle. But it's going to be BTs. Right, right, right. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll, we'll just go that way. Yeah, we'll take this way. Since we're already here. Why not, huh? Guess that's why not. This place is probably covered in BTs. Not a good time. It's not a good time. I wonder if there are also BTs on the other side. Footwear almost ruined. It's okay, I have another pair of boots on me. It's totally fine. We're totally fine. We're fine, we're fine, right? We're fine. Okay, maybe not so fine. Generally speaking, we are fine. Fuck me. I think we're okay. Uh, Alright, change directions over there now. Okay. I mean, it generally isn't that hard to avoid BTs. It's just... Uh, a little bit of a pain because if you slip up that one mistake is going to cost you you know <laughs> all right there's nothing over this way yeah one mistake is going to cost you i'm not ready to make a mistake with the uh anti-matter bomb on my back all right all right this looks like a mistake waiting to happen Yup, that was a mistake, alright. Okay, uh, alright, we'll go this way. Okay, I think we're probably good over on this side. Alright, there's some more over here. Honestly, yeah, BTs are more annoying than they are. Dangerous. I mean, they're still pretty dangerous, but, um, you know. You know. Yeah, no shame, Sam, no shame. Okay. Uh, we might be good. No, we're not good. Right, uh... Looks like... I feel like we're almost out of this. Ouch. That was a... Loud... Bang. Alright, that... What sound is that? What is that? What is that? That... That sound always gets me. Alright, let's quickly leave the area before... Whatever made that sound decides to come for me. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, are we good? Are we good? I think we might be good. Yeah, buddy, we're good. Too far from cargo. Did I did I leave like resin somewhere? Oh yeah, let's go, baby. We did it. There we go. All right. There we go. Uh, we gotta refill on some refill some of our chiros because uh, the this um what's that this floating carrier actually uses chirals so it's um yeah whenever I see some chirals I'll probably try to pick them up I wonder if you like p when you pave a road if there is a BT area and you pave across it does that like get rid of the BTs there we go yeah I don't know but I mean this side is obviously the side that they want you to go on because uh, the roads are here too not that anyone is ever going to be able to build this road. That's insane, man. There we go. It's like 5,000 metals. 5,000 ceramics to build a road. Jeez. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think we need to cross about here. Um, let's see if we can go a bit further forward. Okay, we can't actually go any further forward. So I say, and this is deep. This is gonna be deep. Yeah, it's deep as heck. All right, let's backtrack a bit. Uh, see, if there's a better way to cross. All right, water looks good to cross over here. Uh, we'll cross here. Oh, that thing floats above the water. Maybe I should put the uh, anti matter thing on up there instead. Okay, uh alright, so there's no way to cut across here. Shaisa. So this probably isn't the best way to cross. We could probably cross there, I think. Uh, yeah, let's do that. We can stick to the yellow, and then we can probably take a rest halfway through. Right, baby? You're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We are okay. We're a okay. Alright, uh, let's take a rest here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good place to rest. Where is the water even coming from? This makes no sense. This should be an area of calm. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Alright, so we gotta. Oh. Uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, let's just take this. Uh, I think we can handle it. Alright, um. Okay, so it looks like we gotta go up here. Let's try to go up from here. Oh, I hate this way, man. I hate it. Oh, actually, not so bad. Alright, let's see where we are now. Okay. Alright. It might be a straight shot. Oh great, rain again. Okay, uh right, we haven't heard music in a while. Uh I think this is a good sign. If there's music, there's not gonna be no BTs. I just hope the uh city isn't at the bottom of the mountain. So I wish like there was a better way to like just get stuff onto the carrier. Oh, what is that? That is interesting. Uh, let's go take a look. Don't know where it is, but it's pretty cool. It's like uh, the remains of a building, a huge building, by the looks of it. Wow. Cool. Oh, there's a memory chip here. 
get that. So they relics of a bygone age, huh? There we go. All right, let's see. Uh, it's time to get back on track. Uh, it's over there. Okay. I like the um, sense of exploration in this game. It's like things like this you like see from far away. Like, oh, that looks cool. I'm gonna see it, and you can totally go see it. Yeah, so it may or may not correspond with the storyline, but uh, it's a, I think it's a pretty cool diversion. Why, why is my health like slowly going down? Am I like cold or something? Uh, let's see how we get down from here. Oh, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. Okay, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. I think we're almost there. We should be there soonish. That's probably it, huh? Oh yeah, that was it. Okay, uh, nice and easy. Alright, nice and easy. Let's not damage the bomb any more than it has to be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, 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 dude. Chill, chill. Chill. Oh, damn. Just telling myself to chill. Alright, nice. Uh, we here. We are here. Alright, sweet. Activate terminal. Let's go. Make delivery. Delivery across cargo. Get that bomb off my back, man. Why would they want an anti-matter bomb to begin with? Delivery complete. Displaying oh. performance evaluation. Wait, there's nobody here? Alright, so took some damage on that. Uh, we bumped it. Ah! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's 1%. That's not too bad. That's alright. S rank, thank you very much. Okay. Oh, hello. What? Jesus. Why? That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. All right. Enough games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Hot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing, and you're going to put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. Wait, we'll so she's Thank a twin? Much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city. That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lochna. Lochna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, dammit. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Yeah, call mama. Sorry, you Die hard, deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network, and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Right, Former saw Bridges that. One. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lachna's is theoretical. Mama designed oh, cool. the Cupid hardware. Lachna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that let them. 
I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a Cairo network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingan's accident. Lochna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lochna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Right. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. But that's exactly no, what you're asking. You did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochna around. Right, Die Hardman. I know you well enough by now. Our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. All right. Okay. Um. Right. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now. Find a way to change Lockness' mind. Uh. I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Maybe there's a side quest she wants me to do for her. Get some stuff for her or something. But uh, yep. Yeah. I guess we'll do that next episode. So um, yeah. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the episode. And if you want to see more Death Stranding. Uh, also let me know how... Or if you like the um, more cuts that I'm doing recently. Because uh, just trying to cut out some of the um, dead silence in between when you're running from location to location. Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, and uh, I'll try to... I don't know, do something about it? <laughs> let me know how you're liking it. Anyway. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And peace.